Well, Kraken is the National Science Foundation's premier supercomputer at the moment. In the end, what we're really striving for is to deliver science. We'll be able to do simulations that we've never been able to do before, and in fact, nobody on the planet has been able to do before. We believe that with AMD, we can actually get to that next level. We wanted the machine for the National Science Foundation that could actually create new revolutionary science. I'm a computational astrophysicist, and we use Kraken, our, our local NSF supercomputer here, to study supernovae, exploding stars. Uh, so we have a lot of physics that we need to figure out all at once, and it turns out that supercomputing is the only way we can possibly get at the answer of how these things actually work. So the XT series with AMD processors is one of the most powerful supercomputers that I've ever used. It has a good combination of very powerful processors with a lot of memory, and a very good interconnect. The AMD processor technology factors strongly into the overall design because the AMD interconnect is an integral part of the Cray system. I mean, they really are particularly good for doing breakthrough science. The top 500 uh, supercomputer list in the industry is a, is a nice diversion twice a year where we get to look at the list and see what everybody's doing, where the new machines are. Uh, what it means, unfortunately, can never be typified by a single number. But it's useful, and uh, particularly if you've got two machines that are very similar, it allows you to uh, sign bragging rights. And it really helps in recruiting and attracting uh, talent from all over, the, all over the world. We need to train the next generation of HPC scientists. So becoming one of the mountains that people come to for HPC I think is, 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 a, is an important point. It's uh, currently in the process of being upgraded to a petaflop which will make it the world's first petaflop ap academic computer. And when that upgrade is complete we'll be able to do simulations of unprecedented resolution and a, an unprecedented physical fidelity. Knowing that uh, we would be able to continue an upgrade path into more and more cores per socket uh, gave us an opportunity to propose an eventual petaflop system even though that wasn't possible at uh, immediately at the beginning of the award. I think this gives Cray a tremendous advantage. We have designed our cabinets and interconnect in such a way that we can drop in the different AMD sockets very easily. And having the ability to do these upgrades in place, going from dual core to quad core, quad core to six core, actually makes it much, much easier in terms of stability and being able to get the machine back into the user's hands as quickly as possible and enabling a greater amount of science at the end, which is what we're really after. I want to see Cray and AMD uh, take us to the next scale. So we're, we're, we're already doing our planning and, and uh, uh, development for uh, getting to the exascale. When we've done petaflop, the next grand challenge is exaflop. And to get there, we really need a good heterogeneous system with um, Opteron and, and Accelerate. So we're talking with AMD these days now on how we bring the accelerator in, into our architecture. We could not have produced this system at this time without a strong relationship with both Cray and AMD. AMD and Cray are both true partners. We're, we, when we go forward, we're going uh, forward collaboratively. Uh, we solve problems together. And, and uh, it's not the typical vendor-customer uh, relationship. It's a true partnership.